and you don't want to miss a beat when Tula talks, I'm telling you. Don't miss your beat when Tula talks. You better listen when she speaks. Hey, it's Tula, and we are reporting live from Super Bowl 53. Hey, guys, I'm Tula, the official red carpet correspondent for the first annual Black Girls Vote Ball. Hey, it's Tula, and we are at Hanami's NBA All-Star Weekend Lifestyle and Experience Luncheon. We're in the heart of the Women's March on Washington. Hey, you guys, I'm joined with Empire's own Asmari. How do you feel like celebrities can use their influence to help shape policy change within our current nation? Hmm, that's a good question. What? Hey guys, it's Tula checking in and chiming in on this whole Raz B situation with the Millennium Tour. Now, if you don't know what happened, a few days ago, Raz B posted a video saying that he is no longer a part of the Millennium Tour. What? You don't want to miss a beat when Tula talks. Never, ever. <laughs> and right now, for some reason, Cardi B, Bodak Yellow is like on fire. Dominating and speak of your love and hip hop family, can the people expect to see you and Sky next season? How did you come up with the name Strip and Fitness? Because I thought I was going to come in here with the pole and get ready to break it down and work out. How did you get that name? Over the years, with the civil rights movement, we had traditional newspapers. Now we have technology. Things can get out like that. How has technology inspired this movement? It has made a phenomenal difference. I heard you singing today, and you did an awesome job, OK? Kudos to you, girlfriend. <laughs> now, what is your definition of woke? Black women in depression, I feel like we're so used to putting on that strong face yes. and we kind of mask it by being busy. Um, then what's one piece of advice you would tell them to kind of pay attention to some warning signs? And we are here at Douglas McNeil, wide receiver of the Seattle Seahawks, second annual free I Dream Youth football slash cheerleading camp. What's one piece of advice you would give those young voters who are out there who may feel like their vote doesn't matter so they just stay home and they don't go? What's one piece of advice you would give them? I would give them the uh, the number 538. I heard it first. She's telling you your vote matters. Go out and vote. And you know, I thought it was pretty, pretty dope that you do encourage, especially women, to look into being an engineer and you also invest in the youth. How important is it for people to really give back and take the time out to invest in our youth? It's kind of tough, but sir, I like you. I really like you. If I pop up from time to time, don't Who let her in. Just take it as a sign of flattery. Uh, WPGC, whoever's in charge here, remember just let her through the door. Fredo reporting from the Armed Forces Full Honor Farewell Ceremony for President Barack Obama. Let's take a look at the event and how he inspired not only the military, but us civilians as well. What's up, it's Asmarie Livingston. You don't want to miss a beat when Tula talking. Thank you so Thank much. You. Hey guys, I'm Angel Brinks, and you don't want to miss a beat when Tula talks. It's your girl celebrity designer, Leontine Angela, and you don't want to miss a beat when Tula talks. I'm Skylandish, and you don't want to miss a beat when Tula talks. Hey, what's up, man? It's Drewski from Hot 97, Love & Hip Hop New York, and you don't want to miss a beat when Tula talks.